Hey gang, Scott here. In this video, the transform tool in Photo Raw. I've done videos on this tool before. You know what it's all about. Fix perspective correction, especially for architecture photos to get lines straight, you know, angles, you know, very angular, the way we want to have our architecture photos looking. Uh, I want to drill down into the keystone option of this tool and expand your thinking on it a little bit because uh, I, I think we, we, we tend to see examples and I'm guilty of showing these examples where you're looking at a window or a door or a portion of the architecture to correct its perspective. And Keystone can be used for more than that. You can actually look a little bit broader. And I'll show you an example with this photo here. So a very tall building. We can tell the scale, you know, people here in the foreground. This was shot pretty wide angle, looking upward as one must do at very tall buildings. And so the entire photo is tilted backward a little bit. And so our transform tool lets us fix perspective like this. And you know, we can we can fiddle with with the vertical and you know probably because I was pretty well centered on this, bring it down and and get pretty darn close, right? Just with the single slider there. But what I want to point out is the keystone tool. Now we use this a lot to center on say imagine if this were uh, a square doorway or maybe if I zoom in here we would you know, align it with, say, this square and consider that the, uh, the the keystone for the photo. And then everything for the perspective would be scaled from there. But you can actually think at a grander scale. Uh, and this is a great photo to do that. If I zoom back out here, Command or Control minus, uh, I really want the the two columns on either side of this entryway this whole thing is like my keystone, this whole area here. And so we can use the keystone tool to, uh, to do that for us. And you saw me zoom in. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it with gestures, but you can do this with command or uh, control plus. And I still have access to the keystone tool. And why that's important is so I can really line things up. I'm going to use like this first little ridge here and the little finger that's pointing, I'm putting that right at the very bottom on the edge, right on the outside there. And I'm going to pan over and do the same thing over here on this side and just use that same finger technique there just to get the little finger pointing right at the edge. We'll do the same thing down here on the bottom. Now for the bottom, I need to be a little careful because there's some differences in the brickwork. I want to pick a good reasonable point where it should be about even and looking at these here and I'll use this as my outer edge and this is my outer edge so that I'll have a straight line coming down the brickwork meeting at a point that I can easily hover the tip of that finger over right there and then we'll do the same thing over here you can see why I was choosing something that was easily recognizable so that I could find it when I'm zoomed in now I'll zoom back out a little bit and you notice the apply is still there but I'm treating this as my keystone and I'll click apply and that's pretty darn close and it's um it's it's I think it's a little better than what I was getting with vertical now I have some refinement I can do and here I'll turn on the grid and I'll start with a 5% grid and once I start adjusting some of these things like the rotation as soon as I start moving the slider the grid shows up and once again I can zoom in while I'm using these tools and what I'm interested in getting really well aligned is the base of the building and if 5% is not enough we'll go to a 1% grid and we get an even finer grid and I'm looking to get a grid line that is right along that bottom there and I'm hitting it with 0 0.02 that seems to be the number for this and uh, fine I'm done with that of course your last step you know, open up a crop tool. Let's see. Um, I want to go back to my original ratio and I'll just pull this in from the bottom until I've got the parts that are on the outside here, the, the, the parts that get lost to the transform because we don't have pixels there. Pull that away. And one other thing, I'll change the, uh, the overlay to a grid and then just center it. So I'm looking at this center point. I want it to go right through the top right there that little peak and so now I have this very well aligned 
very straightened and the transform tool let me do that now I can go on with my editing uh, that's one other point too I'd recommend doing the transform before you apply any changes just so the process is a little faster you're not having to have the software recompute and reapply any effects or develop settings or brilliance any of those things just start with transform when you know you have to to tilt things around to fix the perspective and think about the keystone as not just a window or a door if there is a broad section of the architecture you're photographing that needs to be perfectly straight use the keystone for that whole area and then refine it with the other sliders in this case it was rotation you know every once in a while maybe you need to do a little vertical horizontal and use the five percent or one percent grid overlay you'll get perfectly aligned uh, architecture your lines will be crisp clean and then you can do your editing hope you found the video useful questions drop them below and until next time my name is scott davenport have fun